Hey guys, welcome back to that LP show. The name of the game is Sonic Colors for the Wii. We're about to take on Act 4 of the Starlight Carnival. As you can see, there's kind of there's a little green wisp sitting there, so as soon as we beat this stage, we're gonna free him. Let's find out what kind of ability he has for us. We're starting off upside down again, just like in Act 1. And we're on another little one of these uh, speed, st these uh, sidestepping uh, tracks, whatever you want to call it. Um, these robots don't move, so we can pretty much just stay in the middle. And if we use our boost, we don't have to worry about switching over for the rings. But these guys are easy enough to dodge. Just wait for their guns to glow and then move out of the way. And there you have it. We have another slow diving section here. Let's see if we can move our way to grab all these rings. There we go. Don't want to go too fast or we'll build up too much momentum to go through these uh, spike balls right here and grab that red ring, the first red ring. And down on the speed booster pad, whatever those things are called. I can't remember. Boost to these egg ponds. boost to these egg ponds and here's the green wisp which gives us the the hover ability it allows us to slowly hover while playing some music that sounds very dreamcasty to me yeah that's the best word I can come up with to describe it is dreamcasty it just seems like something that would have been on the dreamcast in addition to being able to hover it also gives us something very similar to the light speed dash which lets us race towards rings at light speed. Let's wait for it to wear off. No, no, okay. I want to go this way. Watch out for the those guys. Uh, are those bad nicks from the chemical plant zone in Sonic 2? They seem so familiar. I just... Huh. Well, if anybody knows, please let me know. I'm going to grab this other uh, hover wisp here. But instead of following that trail of rings, I'm going to slowly hover over here and get this red ring. Now I'm going to race towards the rings at light speed, which is actually much slower than light speed. It's definitely not ludicrous speed. We got our little marching band here. Let's kill them. There they go. So I was at work today, and uh, one of the guys that I work with, they come up to me and they're like, hey, guess what? Amy Winehouse is dead. And I couldn't help but feel out of the loop. I have no idea who she is and all they could say is dude she sang the rehab song and I felt even more out of the loop because I've never heard the rehab song I don't do drugs so I don't know what it's like to be in rehab I don't listen to any songs about being in rehab um, if any of you do uh, I'm sorry that's unfortunate clean yourself up drugs are bad okay And we're just going to keep uh, destroying these egg ponds and grabbing the green wisps that appear so we can keep up our wisp energy and make it all the way up to the top here. And you can see that ring spiral going up that tower. We're just going to hitch a ride on that. And behind the tower is the last red ring. Well, the last one we're going to be able to get in this stage. We need to come back with another wisp. You guessed it, the pink one. And we get an S rank. Not bad, not bad. Much better than my first attempt to record. Yes, I had another one of those incidences. So embarrassing, I forgot to turn on the microphone. I have this Plantronics USB headset with a microphone attached to it, and I didn't turn it on. So I'm sitting here running my suck the entire time, sitting in my office, 
all by myself, talking to myself like a crazy person, recording absolutely nothing while playing Sonic Colors. But now that we got the uh, Green Hover Wisp, that is all of the Wisps that we can get here in Starlight Carnival. So I'm going to go to the real world too, or at least the people that, at least the world that most people consider world two, Sweet Mountain. And we're starting Act 1, and as you saw there, there was a little yellow wisp that flew off into distance. So let's see what ability he has for us. And let's grab these rings. Watch out for these missiles. When they explode, they release candy. We're gonna jump off to the left here, hit that spring. Hit these speed boosting pads. Quickly slide. We got a Laser Wisp, and we're going to use it on this conduit. So we can go through the ground, killing all those Egg Ponds, and getting a special bonus for 30,000 points. And we're just gonna, yeah, we backtrack a little bit, grab that red ring. And right here, we're going to drift. Why are we drifting? I don't know. We're not drifting to win, that's for sure. And if you don't drift to win, then what do you drift for? I'm sorry, that was a lame-ass quote from a lame-ass movie. Maybe some of you don't think that uh, Tokyo Drift was uh, a bad movie. I certainly think so. Anyway, here's the Yellow Wisp, and it gives us the... Drill ability. And that enables us to... Um, do exactly what it sounds like. Drill through the dirt. Or in this case, the um, several layered cake? Oh, are those jelly beans? I wonder if they're jelly belly. God, I love jelly bellies. Especially the Cold Stone flavors. Anybody know about Cold Stone Creamery? There used to be a Cold Stone Creamery where, near, where I near, near, near where I work. It's not there anymore. They closed. And everybody keeps coming by every day. Ever since I, ever since that place closed, not a day has passed where people don't come in and go, "Hey, what happened to Cold Stone?" One person even threatened my life, saying, "Y'all better get Cold Stone back in here. I'm gonna come back and kill your asses." I guess ice cream's just that important to people. And push more buttons to make people fall to their dooms. Well, they're not people. They're robots. Are robots people, too? Let's backtrack here. And we get another red ring. And kill some gingerbread men. I guess they didn't run as fast as they can. Another lame-ass joke, courtesy of Mikey L. The Gamer. Where are we going here? Uh... What? No, yeah, I want that pipe. Not that pipe. Oh, man. There. Not like it made a big difference. Another missile exploding into jelly beans. Oh, come on, come on. Alright, let's destroy that gray block. Bounce up. Get these guys here. Cool points to anybody who can tell me the names of those little flying helicoptery razor blade guys, because I can't remember. I'm a little rusty on my badnik nomenclatures. It's been a while since I've read the instruction manual for an old school Sonic game. I've played them though. I have them downloaded on the Wii Virtual Console. Another quick time event. Another zip line. Another button. Alright, be careful not to use the homing attack right here because you will hit those springs. But we want to get that last red ring there. So that's all five. And here's the end of Act One. And just an A rank? Just an A rank? What the hell did I miss? I know it says it's not important, but, you know, I still like the bragging rights of being able to get an S rank.
And we have freed the yellow wisps. N wisps, wisps, it's hard to say. But we freed them, and now we can use them anywhere where they appear. Like this stage. Up the wall. Side step. Whoa, whoa. That, that sucked. I'm not going to edit that out. This is one of those um, incidents where you have to hold forward to uh, keep Sonic's momentum. And I forgot that you had to do that because the game does not warn you ahead of time. There's no way of knowing. It's just trial and error. I mean, I guess I should know. I've played through the game quite a few times. But, I don't know, that's what I get for playing video games under the affluence of Incahal. Just like that burger! God, that's a good-looking burger. Anyway, hey look! A green Hover Wisp! Wow, that wouldn't be there if I didn't go to Starlight Carnival and get it first. And that means I wouldn't be able to slowly navigate through these spikes. And I wouldn't be able to get this red ring. I would have to backtrack to this stage in order to get it. You guys see what I'm up to now? is uh, food related kind of like uh, those food related areas in Super Mario Galaxy which this game totally rips off at several points but you know what the hell I mean if you're gonna rip off somebody make sure you're ripping off somebody who does things right that's probably why this game is so good compared to past 3D Sonic games See, Sonic first started to uh, compare and compete with the Mario franchise, and they kind of lost touch with that, trying to be something completely different. But when they uh, got rid of the dramatic stories and just made it one shell of a plot, and uh, started going with gameplay similar to Mario, voila, we have another good Sonic game. Anyway, we're going to use this green hover wisp, race towards these rings at light speed, and we get the fourth red ring, which we otherwise would not be able to get without the Hover Wisp. Now we're going to run across these uh, collapsing platforms, slide under there, be careful not to be standing. You want to slide at that point so you don't grab the ripcord, because you'd miss out on that red ring I just grabbed otherwise. And that's the end of Act 2. And I got an S rank, which I kind of expected to get. I have no idea why I didn't get it in Act 1. I guess maybe I just grabbed one few too many. One, uh, two, one too few rings. Did I say that right? I didn't grab enough rings. All right. Next, we're going to Act 3, where we rescue the orange wisp and unlock the rocket ability the most boring ability in all of the game uh, all you do is you shoot up and then you go down real slow with sonic doing his knuckles impression unless you press the b button to make him dive it's lame but it comes in handy anyway that's all the time I have for today. If you like my videos, click the like button, leave a positive comment in the comment section, and don't forget to click that subscribe button. I'm Mike Yell the Gamer. This has been that LP show. Thanks for watching.